Hello Leos, welcome to your weekly reading on the Watch Natalie channel spelled N-A-T-A-L-E-E. -E. I am switching the weekly schedule so the updated calendar menu is on the website theartigan.com slash tarot. I will be doing your signs, the fire signs and the air signs every Wednesday, Wednesday to Wednesday. The earth and water signs will stay on Sunday to Sunday. And if this is not quite resonating with you, feel free to check the other weeklies for your sun moon and rising. If you don't know your ascendant or rising sign, head over to www.alabealabe.com and they will do you up one for free and then you can check it there. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we have in store for Leos. Now remember that time spirals, okay? It goes like that. So what that means for energy is that you can resonate with this reading now or it could resonate for you months or years from now, okay? Take it as it resonates. I might be talking directly to the cross watcher, so don't get upset if that happens. People are obsessed with you, so they might be watching this video thinking about you, Leo, so, you know, go with my flow here. And let's go on, yeah. Okay, let's see what we have for Leo's this week. Wednesday to Wednesday. <gasps> you brat. Six of staves. Oh my God, this is victory. This is an entourage. This is having your people around you. This is showing up with a complete... Hold on, they're showing me something. Oh my God, someone's so proud of you. You, Someone is so proud of... Hold on, I lost it. Hold on. You have a real reason to be proud this week leo let's see what it is oh my god the eight of swords someone just came out of a really hard freaking cycle someone just came out of a very mentally restrictive it's like you didn't think that you can do something or you didn't think something could be this way or you didn't think there was something but you didn't stay in this energy for long this is a fleeting influence because this is going to predominate the rest of the reading. But this week I'm connecting with a Leo who recently took their own blindfold off. <sighs> Look at these two cards that came out together. The Tower and the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Shocking. Shocking. Like, okay, like l literally lightning bolt. I'm connecting with a Leo who's got some like... <sighs> I'm thinking of Madonna and like just the craziest... <sighs> There's highs and lows here, but it's not, mm, it's not bad. Oh my God, your wish could be fulfilled in like, there's something really fateful about this too. Page of Wands, the communication, the spark actually. I mean, they just showed me a whole bunch of fire. There's fire. There's a lot of fire in your reading already. The, the wands are fire. The towers, lightning bolt of fire. Ring of Fire is what they just said. Work, 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 work. Oh my God. <gasps> There's a work situation where you thought someone, not that they had control over you, but you just thought something about this work situation in a kind of limited way. And now something's about to burst through if it hasn't already, or it will this week, Leo, about the work. That didn't come out. I take it back. The Nine of Pentacles. Independence. You get your independence. Yeah. You wanted to be independent and you weren't really able to. Ooh. Could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo involved helping you at work. <gasps> oh my God. The Ten of Cups. This Capricorn influence. I keep saying Capricorn. It's not. It's Earth Signs. This earth sign influence, even just, it's not even having to be an earth sign. It's just a very grounding, secure, stable, foundational, just very, very solid, very, very materially solid influence, very solid energy coming in to bring you the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Cups happiness. And it's, okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles right below the Six of Staves, Leo. So this is saying that you have victory over the oppression it's like you didn't it's like you you were under someone's thumb is what they're saying and then now you have 
independence. Now you're free. If you were part of a program, now you break out and you can go off and do your thing. If you were in training for a job, you get to go out onto the sales floor and like do your thing. Self, um, what's that word? Self managing. Now you can manage yourself. I like it. Okay. So beneath the eight of swords, See, there was like negative self-talk happening here. That's like you were kind of just like in your mind about this, but it wasn't as bad as you thought. Or it was as bad as you thought and it all worked out anyway. <laughs> Either way, it all works out because you have this beneath you. So it could be this influence helps liberate you. Like maybe you start to think more practically and you say, well, actually that can't be true. They can't really think that way about me. They can't really do that to me because it's impractical or it doesn't make any sense. And then you kind of are able to take the blindfold off and, and then, you know, move towards your, sorry, 10 of cups of happiness here. Okay. Or it's an actual person. This queen of pentacles is an actual earth sign person or has heavy earth in her chart or his or her chart, or they're just a very grounding stable influence that's the leo i'm connecting with who has that kind of the yin to your yang balance and you're the yang leo you are the yang okay let's see what's beneath this nine of cups tower card here <gasps> it might be a capricorn oh my god this capricorn could actually blow up your life in a great way this Capricorn, I keep saying Capricorn. For some of you, it will be a Capricorn. For others of you, a little dicey. <laughs> just kidding, I'm just kidding. For others of you, hold on. Destiny. I just told me it's a destiny point. It's a destiny point. You're giving an incredible... It's like you're at a crossroads, actually, is what they're showing me, at a fork in a road. And it's like the devil is your choice. It's like, what are you going to do from here? <laughs> Whatever you want, basically. Oh, yeah. Look at that. The page of wands, the message comes through. You're either the emperor. This could make you the emperor. Making this choice having self-control. See how you overcame the mental thing before by being grounded and stable and, you know, really, really confident. That is what leads you over to maybe communicate, offer, receive an offer, go out, find something, go out, attract something, you know, something like that. Some mover and shaker type energy here with this page of wands and this emperor is what I'm feeling here. And at the very end of that is the Three of Pentacles, which is work. This is a work situation for the Leo I'm connecting with. Okay. Very sparking. Very sparking. Okay, what's underneath this Three of Pentacles for the Leo this week? The Magician. Oh my God. You have it all, Leo. You can do anything you want. See, this is all good stuff. This is all, you're going to have a great week. I'm connecting with a Leo who's about to have a bomb week at work. Something could be blowing up. That's true. But what's going to crumble is going to give you a lot of satisfaction. This could even be something around you. Like someone else gets fired. Someone else gets into a car accident that doesn't kill them, but it takes them out of the picture. And they were just a really toxic person anyway. There's something really happy about this tower moment is what I'm trying to say, okay? Something has to be destroyed in order for you to move forward into your independence, your victory, your public victory, your Ten of Cups happiness, and your own manifesting, your own manifestation. Okay, Leos? That's what I'm getting here. Let's go ahead and grab a Moonology card for the Leo I am connecting with Wednesday to Wednesday in July or whenever they're watching this video. It could be the year 2091. <gasps> What did I say? A fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. Does this look fiery enough? Okay. Expect powerful change. Is this powerful change enough? And your commitment is being tested here. Your commitment is being tested. Does this look like commitment being tested? 
Okay, Leos, that's what I got for you. If this super duper resonated, feel free to book a personal reading with me so we can get into the nitty gritty. Otherwise, just wait out the week. It's a weekly reading and we will see if this energy was at play this week or if it'll play out a little bit later. Okay, guys, take care. I'll see you next week. Bye.